So drainage data, drainage elements, you know, there might be conduits, gutters, in various types of structures, all of that kind of thing. What we do now is, uh, you'll, many of you, I mean, most of you I'm sure will be familiar with uh, clicking on an element, be an alignment or a terrain model, whatever, and drainage is no different. Clicking on an element and opening up the, uh, the civil properties and seeing properties for the thing that you've picked. So what we do, as the uh, the picture here shows you, is if you pick an item um, which is a, a drainage element, for example, I've picked a conduit here, you can see a range of properties that we embed on the graphical element, okay? Now, I've called, I've titled the slide Common Properties because what we did was we looked at the sort of information that you might want to annotate on a, on a drawing. You might want to annotate, you know, uh, the size of a conduit, its length, its slope, that kind of thing. You might want to annotate some hydraulic information like the flow or the capacity or something rather like that. So all of that kind of information, as I say, I call it common properties because it's stuff that you would commonly want to annotate. We embed that information on the graphical element. Now, that is important because it's available through a reference file, okay? And you'll, you'll see some of that in a moment. Now, we haven't added all of the properties that are available onto the uh, graphical elements because we have a huge amount of properties. Many of them don't mean anything unless you're a drainage person. And many of them won't mean anything in the wider context. So we've embedded the properties that we think you will be most relevant to your drawing production workflows and to you know, colleagues, other designers who want to look at your drainage. Now, just to note, if you will, this drainage results category uh, at the bottom of the screen here, note that the, the values here have units at, um, displayed as a suffix here. And if you, um, one thing that you will want to be aware of when you're setting up this um, information, quite a lot of people say, uh, John, where, where do the units come from? How do I set the units up? Uh, do they have to be the same as the units that the, um, the hydraulics designer uses? Well, you set them up on the backstage. So as you can see here from uh, in the design file settings dialog, under civil formatting, you may be familiar with going here to set up things like uh, cross slopes, uh, other formatting. Uh, so in the civil formatting uh, category on the left-hand side, we have a drainage result settings. And here's where you can set your units and your decimal precision, prefix, suffix, that kind of thing um, for the drainage results. So you might want to set, you know, cubic feet per second or, or feet per second, that kind of thing. So be aware that this is where you go to set those um, those units and precisions. Uh, so you'll want to do that and make sure that's right if you're setting up um, annotation. So let's have a little, uh, a little look at um, these common properties now and how they um, how they work. I've opened a design file that contains some drainage data. If I select one of these drainage elements, I'll select a conduit in this case and hover over it, the tool strip gives me access to several items of functionality. Now, because I'm in the design file that contains the drainage data, I'm able to open the utility properties. So if I click on that, we can see there's actually two tabs here. But all of these properties are contained in an embedded database. I can also access the civil properties. And these properties are available on the graphical elements. If we look at these civil properties in a bit more detail, we can see that there's a drainage and utilities category, 
and is also a drainage results category. Now, if we have a look at the decimal precision of these units, we may want to change that. And also, we might want to look at the units used for slopes, capacity, flow, etc. So if we go to the backstage, go to Settings, File, Design File Settings, there's two places where we need to set units and precision. First of all, for linear units, we need to go to the working units category and we can set the precision here. And then secondly, if we go to the civil formatting category and scroll down, there's a drainage results settings. And here we can choose the units that we want to use and the precision for various values. So for example, for flow, I might want liters a second and I might want to add a suffix of liters a second. For slope, I might choose percent and again, add a suffix. And I can continue working through this list choosing the settings that I want. When I'm happy, I can click OK and then go back. We can see that the precision's changed on the inverts. The slopes have now got the unit suffix. And if we scroll down, we can see our capacity, flow, etc. have also got units set. We can see that the velocity units also need to be set. So let's just do those. And again, we'll add a suffix. And we can see that's been updated. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.